Hello, and welcome to the Vector vs. Bitmap lesson. You are watching a small dog creative video. This lesson is a part of the Graphic Design 101 series. This video was designed to clear up confusion about the differences between bitmap and vector files. Let's start with the more common of the two, bitmap images. If we zoom in on this bitmap, we see that bitmaps are composed of pixels, and each one of those pixels contains information about one color. So what are bitmap images? As we discussed, bitmap images are pixel-based. Bitmap images can be scaled down, but not up. Bitmap images are also known as raster graphics. Common bitmap files include JPEG, BMP, PNG, TIFF, and GIF files. Bitmap images are much more common than vectors. Bitmaps are typically easy to recognize as photos and sometimes illustrations. Let's take a look at a few bitmap images. As you can see, bitmaps are typically photos or complex illustrations. Now let's take a closer look at vector images. When we zoom in on a vector image, we don't find pixels. We find perfect lines and curves. Why is this the case? Vector images are based on mathematical equations that set out instructions to connect points, lines, curves, and to fill in shapes. What else should you know about vector images? As we discussed, vector images are based on mathematical equations. Vector images are also scalable to absolutely any size. Common vector file types include EPS, PDF, AI, SVG, and WMF files. Vectors are fairly rare, and the most common place you see them is in illustrations and logos. Let's take a look at a few examples. As you can see, all of these images have a smooth, clean look that can help us distinguish them from bitmap images. Because vector images provide such flexibility, logo files are almost always vector-based. Vector-based logos allow us to easily drop in different colored backgrounds, or to scale them down or up to any size. Now let's take another look at bitmap and vector file types, because this can be a little bit confusing. If you have a JPEG, BMP, PNG, TIFF, or GIF file, you have a bitmap image inside that file. If a vector image is saved as one of these file types, it has been converted or rasterized to a bitmap image. This, however, is not the case with vector files. If you have an EPS, PDF, AI, SVG, or WMF file, you may still have a bitmap image stored in that file. This is because these file types can contain both types of information. It's also important to note that while you can convert vector files to bitmap files, it's much more challenging to convert a bitmap to a vector. This requires special software and usually some file cleanup. Thank you for watching the vector versus bitmap lesson. I hope this has cleared up confusion about the two image types and that you've learned something new. You can check out additional videos at www.smalldogcreative.com. This video has been brought to you by Small Dog Creative, your small business design and marketing specialists.